Okay, I'm back. I've been having so much problems. Last two times I've tried to make this video, I've got the uh, uh, Unreal Engine 3 uh, D3 D3D error, and I've done different things. I've just uninstalled and reinstalled my video drivers and software, and I've added some things to my antivirus programs. I use three, you can never be too safe. <laughs> but, so, our goal in this mission is going to be to start the, uh, in this playthrough, sorry. My goal in this playthrough is going to be to start the Bounty Hunter quest. And, uh, another thing, I say this at the end of all my videos, but I appreciate everybody that takes the time to watch my videos. I hope they enjoy them. Please like, share, and subscribe. Because I'm not going to get anywhere without people watching the videos. You need uh, 4,000 hours of watched videos before you can start trying to make a little bit of cash with this kind of stuff. And you have to have at least 1,000 subscribers. So... I'm at like 9 and 200 plus. So, 9 or 8. I'm at 8 subscribers and 200 plus watched hours. But they say that you don't really start seeing any results till you've posted at least 100 videos. So, we'll find out. I'm at like 28, 29 videos. Well, that may be more. But, so, uh, my biggest thing like, Subscribe, share, and comment. I really wish people would comment and say, hey, you're not any good at this, you suck, or hey, you're okay, or you're pretty good, or keep trying, you'll get better, or just give it up. You know, I just need some input. Nobody's giving me any input. And basically, I just want to play the game walk through the mods as they come up tell you about them try to teach you how to use them to get more fun out of the game get more loot get more sea bills better pilots uh, and right now I think I'm only using like 28 mods and uh, there's a lot of them out there but those are the ones that I choose to use just for improving the game improving the, the stuff that I just said the kind of like the gameplay or how you can become uh, more sea bills more mechs uh, earlier on in the game better weapons okay so first thing we want to do is fix our mechs So what I'm doing is I'm going to start doing this as I work on these mechs. I'm going to move as much ammo into the legs to try to avoid ammunition explosions and where you don't lose so much uh, critical parts. I'm just going to do it as I, uh, let's see,
was able to give him <laughs> one more double heat sink. Being these are small missiles, one ton of each should be good. Uh, I could actually. probably get rid of one of these but it's not going to give me enough room I mean 102 may be enough I don't know if you're uh, if you're uh, pilots actually uh, actually run out of if the AIs actually run out of ammo. But there's 102 rounds of this. 480 of that. And 660 of that. I'm going to go with this. Oh, I know why I did the double. Well, I still think that's enough. We're going to try this here. SRM half. And SRM. AC, AC. can't get any more uh okay, that's all the heat sinks I can put on him just two but you've seen me pilot this guy and he never overheats Trying to get a little more strategic where I put the uh, 
uh, ammo for less damage to the mech when it blows up. Center torso has the most uh, protection, so matter of fact, let's take the rear down and this up one, and take this down to 12. Okay, so that looks pretty good. He's only one point off on each leg. This guy took a beating. Notice how I stagger him. So if he loses one leg, he's uh, he still got ammo for each weapon in the other leg. Let's put the AC ammo in the arms. <laughs> that way, I mean, we'll lose, if we have an ammo explosion, we'll lose the double heat sinks and one laser, but we'll still have ammo in the legs and we won't lose the primary weapon. And then now, this is going to be one of my new 30-ton mechs to, to pilot. So I'm going to get rid of uh, this one here. And I'm going to save it, move to cold storage, and I'm going to hit Y. And if you look... See how he's got the little icon? Uh, so all of his all of his loadouts been saved. Weapons, armor. If he had any uh, upgrades, they'd be saved too. The only thing is, see where it says move to hangar? Hit A. If you do that with the controller, it won't move any of the stuff that's saved on it. So the only way to do this is to take a mouse click on them and drag them and drop them and then everything will be saved so I do have a couple of I got a little pad keyboard mouse combination about the size of a controller and then I'm also have a little wireless mouse but uh, all I gotta do is touch the controller and it'll 
get the mouse would just appear. So I have another atlas. And my preferred 400 ton drop is uh, three atlases and uh, three atlases and a cyclops. I don't have a cyclops yet. This is not my preferred atlas. I like these better. So we're going to go with an SRM4 for close range. It's the biggest one that'll fit on it. And we're going to make it an Artemis. We're going to go with the biggest. I think we can get a 20 on here. That's a large missile. Yeah, it's a 20 will fit. So we're going to go with an LRM-20 Artemis. And then I'm going to put LBX cannon on this one. And remember, the ACs do 3.9 uh, 3 uh, damage more than the slugs. Range and everything else is identical. I'm going to give him a couple of uh, ER large lasers. Could put TPCs, but then we'd lose four tons and have a bigger heat, heat problem. So now, I definitely put double heat sink, double heat sink, and we need... Uh, LBX, LBX, SRM, LRM, and LBX, LBX, double heat sink. Double heat sink. Okay, so we've got uh, 180 rounds of ACs. Uh, we'll go double heat sink. Double heat sink. And we'll go with another. LRM just because it's a big LRM and we can put one more heat sink on them yeah there's no way well I could no that would free up two slots so that wouldn't there's no there's no more I could put one in the arm should I do that Double heat sink. Okay. So now all we got to do is shave one point of armor off of each leg. And fine tune the armor. Remember, you're always going to be facing your opponent most of the time. things maxed except the legs are minus one point of armor on each one so he has one medium range weapon and three long range weapons and one short range weapon okay so now now, I'm not sure my game's not going to crash again, because it might, but, because I don't know if what I fixed, fixed it. So, the mech delivery system, I'll go over it again. 
So you can order any Mac that's installed on your game. See, there's a classic Mac right there. Any Mac, any Mac. That includes the uh, uh, Hero Macs. And you can order multiple. You can have multiple Hero Macs with these mods. But I'm not going to order any Macs because I've been pretty pleased with uh, what I've been getting out of the stack crates and the Coyote resource missions. Now I'm going to do a special order. And of course I'm going to grab some double heat sinks. And remember there's clan ammo in here. But I think it's for the uh, clan invasion pack. Uh, not the game that's coming out or came out. I don't know if it's out yet or not. But f there's a mod for that that somebody's made and it's pretty popular so the guy that wrote these ammo mods that cut the weight in half of the ammo and and also added more rounds per weight he probably included stuff for that clan pack that because that's like I said that's a real popular uh, mod I haven't decided if I want to go that route or, yeah, the route or not. And I'm trying to build all my uh, all my weapons that I use up to four, so that uh, I have backups for when they get blown off or if I get a new mech that I want to outfit that I don't uh, want to get rid of the other mech completely because what you'll end up doing or what you can end up doing to take advantage of these mods uh, when you save them with their loadouts let's say you're fighting with heavy with heavy and assault mechs all the time so you've got more of those in your inventory than you do medium or light and then you run across a mission that calls for a medium or light mech. Well, you can do the same thing to your heavy and assault mechs, save them with everything equipped to them, and then pop those uh, medium or, or light mechs back into service without having to rebuild them. I got plenty of money right now, so I'm not going to be shy on what I'm buying. Plus, I have a ton of mechs from the resource missions and the stack crates that I in my coal storage that I could sell. And I just wasn't not ready to do that, trying to get some of this game moving on. Okay, so lasers. Okay, so we're good there, we're good there, PPCs are pretty dang good. Remember, I only buy ER lasers. They generate a little more heat, but they got a lot more range and the same amount of firepower as the regular ones, so. I don't need any of those, but I'm going to continue to buy medium tier fives and I want four of these just in case the short burst lasers come in uh, handy when you've got a uh, mechs that overheat they generate less heat but they don't do as much damage but they shoot twice as many rounds per minute so you could look at it like well they're doing more damage because I'm hitting them twice as much. Yeah, I don't need any of those. I think we're good on everything. 
everything else. I've used tags before, but I don't hardly ever use them. I, uh, I usually, if I got a medium laser slot, I'd rather have a medium laser in there. Uh, I, I put narcs on some of my missile boats. And narcs work. That's good. Oh, ultras. I get a couple of these just because I got money. Like I said, solids only do 13, but the uh, ACs do 16.9, and everything else, range and uh, uh, heat efficiency and all that's identical. But the, these are the ones that shoot like a shotgun. I'm going to get a couple of those just because I want them. Heavy rifles are good. I haven't started buying any. I haven't had a mech that shoots these yet. Heavy rifle does 23 points of damage, and a Gauss does 21. Uh, the Gauss has a range of eight, and this has a range of eight. God, the heavy rifle's the better choice, except the Gauss fires uh, 11 rounds per minute. Heavy rifle fires eight rounds per minute. So the heavy rifle would be the better choice, in my opinion. The weight difference is uh, 15 and 8. Yeah, I think I'm going to start going with heavy rifles on everything instead of Gauss rifles. And the burst fires do do, see, like... Uh, Damage is uh, 3.1. Damage is 2.6. So the burst fires do do more damage than the regular ones. Fifteen point six and uh, thirteen. So yep. Yeah. Don't think I need any of these. Good on all those. So I'm going to go ahead and say, give it to me as soon as possible. It's cost me an extra 2 million C bills. Order. But I still got 26. And like I said, if you go to this, look at all the mechs I have in cold storage for selling. I have so, look, there's a 4 million. I have tons and tons of mechs to sell. So I am not, uh, I'm not concerned with money right now, because if I get to a situation where I'm low, I can just drop into a industrial hub and start selling them. Oh, I might just sell a couple, since we're in here. So... Look at that, I have atlases here. Oh, these are the ones, these are not in cold storage. These are the ones getting rebuilt, sorry. There we go. See, this one will never be asked for in a cantina mission because it's not part of the game. This is the classic mech. And I'll never use them. So I just sold his ass. Same thing with this one here. Four million. Never be asked for by a cantina mission. It's not part of the game. Man, I got a shitload of them suckers. This one here is almost... It might even be not even damaged at all. A lot of the ones you get out of the stack crates... Some of them won't be damaged at all, and some will be lightly damaged. Yeah. I 
of selling him. Okay, so. See how damaged that one is? And that one's not hardly damaged. Gonna sell him too. It's hard not to sell these mechs that are worth four million, right? on to one of these because I'm still thinking I haven't decided if I want to start using these for the 65 or just keep on using the Crusader see look at we have two Hatsumoto cheese that are uh, legendary the exact same kind Like I said, I'm not a legendary collector. So I need another one of these that's uh, two, uh, two, two, and six missiles. But we can afford to get rid of his ass. That was a classic catapult. I don't know if it'll let you turn that in. Blood ass. Okay, we're going to go with that. So now, we're back up. Look at that, 68. Before I bought that crap, I had uh, 49. Now I got 68. So we're going to do a cantinas. Uh, we'll collect an archer. And we're going to kill three dragons somewhere down the line. And then we've got an archer in cold storage. Check them. Make sure they're not ones that you want to get rid of. This one has no weapons. That means that one's in service. That one's in cold storage. Okay, so we're going to select this one and confirm. And so we just made more money. And then now we're going to kill a bunch of freaking ground vehicles.
and so we're up to six missions. Now we do have two missions to go out and find some stuff. So we're not going to do that right now, but we're going to go try to get the bounty hunter missions gone and see if my game's going to crash or not. So first place I'm going to check is here, which I'm pretty sure this is where I need to go to start it off. Because remember, I played this already played this game through trying to make this video in, an, in about an hour each playthrough, and it's crashed on me. So I'm basically testing it again and making a video. If it doesn't crash, then we're going to, uh, then I'll, I'll publish the video. If not, I'll try to troubleshoot and figure out why it's crashing. So contracts, and this is the one that I took. It's going to take all the sea, all the salvage points, rest of it in sea bills, and confirm. Careful, Commander. The sensors are malfunctioning due to the weather, and your visibility on this mission will be compromised as well. Oh, did I forget to repair his ass? No, he's still getting repaired. I wonder how long he's got to wait. So I've got a 55 ton for him already. And I know I got another 65 ton somewhere. It's already in there. So I just need to find. I wonder how much time. Argus. Uh, oh, it'll be fixed in two days. So guess what? I don't care. I'm going to do the two day wait. Oh, I forgot to. Uh, I've, I've been putting some pilots in training. I forgot to do that, but we can do that later. Okay, so we're ready. Enemy forces have a series of warehouses in the area that our employer wants destroyed. Move to the mark now points and take them out. There is a high amount of hostile activity in the area, Commander. So don't stick around any longer than you have to. Next R battle ready. All personnel reporting in. Mercenary Lance ready for action. Our employer wants this area cleared of all tanks. Kill confirmed. Don't mess with House Merrick. I think we killed two of them at the same time. And we still got our new partners on our with us. So we just had a friendly mercenary uh, Lance join us and help us. So that's going to kick off the uh, bounty hunter missions. He's going to want all the intel on them. 
You'll be able to pick up the salvage crate as you approach it. That's close enough. Ready to start pickup operation. Excellent. The intel see what we got. After all. Picking it up now. Lots of weapons and two mechs. Two mechs. See how they're down there fighting? The guys guarding those anomalies are considered hostile to the locals. So the locals are fighting them. See how torn up they are? Now you see how easy that was since they'd already been. Somebody take him out. I don't see him. actually doing pretty good. I'm probably damaged more than anybody. Okay, so we got three uh, Star League caches. That's all that's on this planet. These guys are, there's a catapult shit, but they're not damaged hardly at all.
That's a badass mech right there, mad dog, or is that a vulture? That is a mad dog. Okay, so a couple of us, Kelpie, Chainsaw, we're all beat up a little bit. I still think I'm the worst. So that was quite a bit of big mix. A couple of atlases. You gotta remember. You must be getting close to the salvage crate, Commander. The uh, approach it once you find it. I got so excited about the fight and I lost track of what I was getting ready to say. Another thing to remember is as you uh, level up in the game, your skills, you know, become better. Okay, so we got one left. It's way to hell over there in the corner. It's probably the most uh combat vehicle rolling in. Be sure to take it apart. Are you guys going after his ass? Yeah, somebody is. But uh We'll get our missions done and then we'll go get that last one probably going to be the most heavily guarded one and since it's on the ass end of the world it probably hadn't had anybody attack it yet
remember pipes can hurt you and generators too if you ever notice the generators Target down. I don't see one off the top but I might have just stepped in one but they'll uh, they'll hurt you oh we got a drop ship coming in So, do we still got our two buddies with us? Yes, we do. That guy, he's stuck on something, I bet. Okay, so that looks... all target buildings have been destroyed, Commander. Good job. Getting you an evac now. Head to the Mort location. Yeah, a bunch of assault mechs. I think there's five of them. Yep, there's five assault mechs. Okay, so me and Kelpie got beat to hell, but... Kelpie needs some training and evasion. So do I, but... So that was guarded pretty heavy compared to the rest of them. Uh, I forgot to see what we got. We probably got anywhere from eight to 10 max, maybe more.
buddies seem to still be following us. I don't know if, uh, still got two of them? Might have lost one. I think we might have lost one of them. I know I seen him hung up somewhere, but I don't see him on the map now. He either extracted or he got blown up. Let's get you out of there, Commander. Stand by. Okay, so. Um, where did I put my pipe? There it is. Remember, I'm a pipe smoker. Time to recharge. And it's regular pipe tobacco. It's not any of that medicinal or wacky tobacco. It's just regular. Uh, can't remember. It's called. Uh, ah, man, I can't remember what my pipe tobacco is called. That's what happens when you get old. I'm telling you. Little shit, hard to break, figure it out. Maybe it's when you get old and play video games. So the payout wasn't that great. Okay, payout wasn't that great. Recitation's about average. Sometimes you get 220 two or more. Uh, Hellcat, Champion, Hunchback, Firestarter, Vulcan, Crusader, a Gauss rifle, which I determined I'll never use those. I'll be using the uh, heavy rifles from now on because they have the same range and do more uh, I think they do more damage. Uh, LRM-15 ST Artemis. LBX-10 Auto Cannon times 2. Hopefully those will be tier 5s, uh, tier but we don't know that. Uh, TAG, target, in, uh, target Acquisition Gear, which is TAG. AIMS, that's an anti-missile system. Uh, I call it AIMS. I know there's no I in there, but oh well, AIMS. Uh, LRM-5 ST Artemis. Uh, Streak, that's the lock-on kind. Streak SRM-2. And that stream means it's an ST also. LRM-5 Artemis, or LRM-15 Artemis, no, no ST. LRM-15 ST Artemis. LRM-15 Artemis. Oh, there's one in there twice. LRM-10 Artemis. Gauss Ammo. LRM Artemis Half Ammo times six. LRM AC Half Ammo times six. Ultra AC Five Ammo times two. Ames Half Ammo times two. Uh, LRM Artemis Ammo times six. Uh, S or s the s Streak, which is SSRM Ammo times three. SRM Artemis Half Ammo times uh, three. Uh, Mass four times three. Ames Ammo. Gauss Rifle Half Ammo times two. Okay, so that's all the good crap we got. And, uh... So, we have... Did I go overweight? Did I go overweight? Over tonnage. Shit, I wasn't paying attention. 
I was not paying attention. Okay. Love you. Night. What? You're going to work in the afternoon. She's talking about. Sorry, my wife telling me stuff. So I, uh, I messed up on this drop. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll find out when I see the. Oh, I bet it was a two. I took two thirty, and I bet it was a two hundred ton drop. Okay, so we got twenty five points. Let's see if there's any double heat sinks. The under tonnage mod will also let you go over tonnage. Uh, I don't think there's any double heat sinks in this one. Oh, there is double heat sink. Looky there. Five. Five double double heat sinks. So now we got ten left. A lot of ammo. And we got one nine Irby. I mean, we'll never use him, but he'll come in handy to give to the uh, cantina people. Take one of those. Yeah, I bet you. Uh, this was a uh, 200 ton mission. I wasn't paying attention. Bounty Hunter. Okay, let's see if I can do this without stumbling. Well, well, if it isn't Kid Mason, the prodigal son has finally returned to the game. I see you've finally popped your cherry tangling with some of the Mercenary Review Board's best and brightest. Me, I never much trusted any interstellar bureaucracy that claimed neutrality while also holding their reins on how we soldiers of fortune dispense death across the inner sphere. I prefer a much more face-to-face -face approach to my craft, which is why I'm reaching out. Kid, you might not have known this, but your old man was a acquaintance of mine. He would feed me info, and in return, I would kick back some extra sea bills and supplies his way. All I ask, all I asked, was that if his cavaliers happened upon some of our esteemed colleagues, he would pass along any inside info he knew my way. You know comms frequencies, IFF transponder codes, gun cam footage, and battle computer recordings of any sorties or s or sorties or scuffles he would get into with them. Now that you're stepping up to the plate in a big way, I'll hand you the same offer I gave him. Feed me useful info on other Merc outfits and I'll pay you out with rewards the house lords or those mercenary review board robes could never dream of offering you the juicier the info the better I'll pay the better I'll pay you out I'll even put a premium on tactical computer recordings for each mer mercenary outfit you defeat you beat in combat Attached to this message, you'll find relay instructions to pass along any info. info my dog's trying to get off the couch. She's bugging me. Any informa along any information you have. If you run into any issues with the, any local <coughs> intel brokers, just tell them the hunter sent you. I'll be in touch. Okay, so, yeah, I bet you that was a 200-ton drop. Hell, it, yeah, I just took too many mechs, so we got seven new mechs. And this is...
this guy has two, two, and six. Ah, that would be the one that I would want. <coughs> so, would that be the one I'd want to get rid of? Um. Uh, Okay, so that's uh, medium pulse loaders, two tens, two sixes. Two tens, two sixes, and medium lasers. Let's go back up to this guy here. We're going to send him to cold storage. And that puts this one in our. Yeah, I want. Uh, that's the one that's like the other one I had. That's the one I want to build. Put him back. And then here's how. Here's uh, basically you, you get. You're gonna get your stuff from him like this. He's gonna send you a message, and that's gonna be a list of things he's gonna give you. And then see where it says uh, what's just going on. And then there's your badges and stuff you get with them. So basically, you're going to go in here, and right there where it says rank, underneath it says rival intel, that's where you're going to, uh, shows what your level is with the bounty hunter. So, how long is this video? It's over an hour long. So I'm going to end this. And hopefully you all will have enjoyed it. And I really appreciate all you guys and gals that hung out for me and watched the whole thing. And like I said at the first, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And above all, please give me some comments so I can see if I'm just a jerk doing this. Or, you know, just, I want comments. I, I want to know how I'm doing. Okay, so we're going to go to... Uh, We're gonna let's see what do we got here Lee you got three yet no nope, no nope. uh, do I need any uh, cantinas yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna jump here and then save I've already got two saves in a row on that one I'm trying to keep them easier to find and the game hasn't crashed yet Okay, so this is where we're going to be at when we get here. And we'll build these mechs. And uh, are we ready for a new... Uh, still got an order in progress. So when we get back, we're going to build these mechs, fix these mechs up, and go from there. Alright, so I am going to do a manual save. And we're going to go new save yes and we're going to end it exit the game and let me I got to do the keyboard commands to shut it down okay so that's synced and then this is just so you guys can see what this is the software I use built into uh, adrenaline and recording stop recording